All right, what is up, you guys? I'm here with the Cyber Sunday DVD collection. So what we have is 2006, 2007, and 2008. Obviously, we had Taboo Tuesday in 2004 and 5, and then it changed to Cyber Sunday. So 2006 is where we begin here. Um, I like this artwork. You have John Cena, Booker T, and Big Show, all three champions with the gold highlighted. Um, same with his crown, which is pretty cool. There's your logo, and this was a raw pay-per-view. Take a look at the spine. Decent artwork. <clears throat> okay, so obviously what they did was it was your basic voting, you know, like Taboo Tuesday was, where people would vote um, WWE.com. You could do it through AT&T. And, you know, you'd vote for referees, opponents, stipulations, stuff like that. But we had Umaga versus Kane. We had your Texas Tornado tag team match. Uh, Jeff Hardy versus Carlito for the IC title. D-Generation X versus Edge and Randy Orton with special guest referee Eric Bischoff. Lumberjack match. Well, Lumberjell match, I guess you should say. Mickey James versus Lita. Ric Flair and Roddy Piper versus Spirit Squad. And then John Cena versus Kane Booker versus Big Show. In a triple threat match, champion of champions match. So, um, it was actually for the world heavyweight championship. So, kind of strange. I guess you picked whose title was on the line. But there we have it. And you have your description and runtime of three hours. Open her up. You do get an insert. Very cool disc artwork. I do like that. And then you actually have the logo in the background on the insert there, which is pretty cool. Nice little touch there. So overall, great um, great artwork on that DVD. And it's not it's actually not a bad event. Alright, 2007, we have Candace Michelle with the mice and the mouse trap with cheese on it. I always thought that was an interesting cover. It's creative, I'll give it that. But um, log on, take over. This was Raw, SmackDown, and ECW, so I'll try branded pay-per-view in 2007. Show you the spine, kind of a different spine there. Alright, so, we had Rey Mysterio versus Finley in a stretcher match. MVP versus Kane for the US title. Triple H versus Umaga in a street fight. Mr. Kennedy versus Jeff Hardy. Uh, CM Punk versus The Miz for the ECW title. Uh, Batista versus The Undertaker for the world title with Stone Cold as your ref. And then Randy Orton versus Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship. Um, I This pay-per-view is not bad either, actually. These Cyber Sunday pay-per-views weren't um, that bad. you think it would be, but they're really not. I mean, they're not great, but yeah, it's a decent watch. Alright, so Cyber Sunday 2008... This one was cool because it actually had a Blackberry as your stage, which is pretty dated for 2008, but, um, well, it's dated for 2017, I should say. Back in 2008, we had Blackberries. I never had a Blackberry. I had a Nokia back in 2008, which was like a little, tiny little mini brick phone. But there you have the Cyber Sunday logo. I always thought that was a pretty cool cover with CM Punk, and then you have their phones. Very creative, very cool. I'm a CM Punk guy, though, so kind of biased. Okay, this one doesn't give away the voting results, which is interesting. Um, we have Triple H versus Jeff Hardy. I'll give away the results, sorry. Triple H versus Jeff Hardy for the WWE title. Chris Jericho versus Batista with Stone Cold as your special guest referee. Um, Matt Hardy versus Evan Bourne for the ECW title. Kane versus Rey Mysterio. I believe it was a, I think it was a no holds barred match. Santino Morella versus Honky Tonk Man, I believe. Undertaker versus Big Show in a Last Man Standing match. Would have been interesting seeing I Quit match between them. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase versus. Don't remember the result of that one. CM Punk, Kofi Kingston, John Morrison of The Miz, 
versus um, Crime Time versus Jamie Noble and Mickey James versus William Regal and Layla. So, um, yeah. And then you have your Divas Halloween costume contest. And then we have Shelton Benjamin versus R Truth in the previous, previous preview match for the United States title. And then you also have Honky Tonk Man, Roddy Piper, and Goldust arguing backstage. I think actually this was, if I remember correctly, the last time WWE has ever done an insert inside a pay per view DVD. We've had uh, the Steel Books, which have had inserts, but I think this is the last one, so. Relish it while you can. But very cool artwork there. Love it. And not a bad pay-per-view, like I said. So that is Cyber Sunday. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.